Okay. Lost words beyond the page. So, if you haven't heard of this game before, this game is made by a wonderful game team, which includes Rihanna Pratchett, which is Terry Pratchett's daughter. Um, so I have high expectations for the storytelling in this game. I also assume that there's going to be... Uh, do I want controller? I probably do. I assume there's going to be high emotion in this game. I don't entirely know what it's about, but I know that it for sure involves a grandmother and her grandchild, and we all know that we lost Terry Pratchett to Alzheimer's. Um, it's very nice on the like, watercolor feel. I've been seeing a lot of watercolors recently. So you can grab scraps, open book, crouch, all the kind of normal things. Oh, I wanted... Well, it's a book. I was gonna say, I wanted to see if there's subtitles, but it's... It's a book. There's gonna be words. That is for sure a grandma. I've never seen more of a grandma in my life. This book belongs to... Me! Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. This is really cute. What is this? Ah, uh, it's just a shiny dot. Whoa! Okay, it wraps. That's cool. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. A numpty head. So, um, British English. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. <sighs> that was cool. I wonder how many little hidden things I've already missed. And then there's... Okay, so this is the grab. Ah. Right trigger. Oh! This, that isn't just a little shiny spot, that is a cursor. Grab it. Mom! My top tea drinking buddy. Guardian of the biscuit tin. I hear cat. Ah! I go get my tea and this. Is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Pinky fact. She's actually afraid of, of mice. Oh, so those are my stairs to get over to the, the door. Today's my birthday! Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Oops, so we're gonna blow out the candles. And made a wish! That is pretty cool. I'm gonna put it back. Eh. Eh. There we go. Can I put it here and use it as a stepper? I can. 
Hey, it could happen. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Starting is half the battle. That is something I've heard before. Grand seems nice. Then again, she's a grand. She would be nice. Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Wow, a stream. And it's a stream you're awake for. Um, probably about an hour. I'll probably stream Grand for about an hour. Says. Gran always says, a writer writes. Gran is brilliant. I am streaming while my husband takes a walk. And then after he's back from his walk, we're going to see why the... A writer writes. That's Grandma's no voice. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. She reminds me of Helen Mirren. Um, oh, well, good news. If you, uh, you won't miss much of the stream. <laughs> it won't be too long. How do I get to the door here? Well, no, I wanna, I'm gonna go up from this side, I think. Mm -hmm. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Oh, well, I should have walked on that. Anyway, um, when husband Grand gets back, writing is about exploring your thoughts. We're gonna find out it why the low unlock your feelings. Tire pressure gauge went on on my truck. The tires are not visibly low, so. Oh, I want to get up there. Yeah. Got it. I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Yes. It's absolutely meant to make you feel better about your height. Yeah. Or about my writing. Could be writing, could be writing. I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? She thinks romance is a gross, comedy? wait till she gets older. A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. You can write a book that has all of those things in it. Oh yeah, it wraps. What am I doing? I can just fall. A fantasy story! Romance is not gross, Croy. You know it. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Little known fact, I used to be a member of the Romance Writers Guild of America. Once upon a time, I had a very strategic reason for it. Ugh. No one said this would be easy. Writing Again. was only part of that. From the top. Uh, at the time, you could, if you were a member of a writer's guild, get group health insurance in the United States without a job. You could buy it as part of the group. They don't let you do that anymore. So I had Not it as a so backup in case I lost my job and didn't have insurance. In the land of... Astoria. That is pretty. A place of peace and magic. I am jealous of whoever did this artwork because this is beautiful. Whoa. There lived a girl named... Oh, naming things is hard. What'd you pick? Oh, I have to pick. Well. 
I like Georgia. I like Grace. I also like Robin. These are all good names. I'm gonna pick this one because it reminds me of Georgia Moffat. Georgia! Everyone knew her by the bright color. Mm. Red, green, or purple? We'd take purple. Personally, I look better in red, I think, than purple, but I'm taking purple. Of her purple dress, she was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life. For she was the only oh. apprentice of the village guardian. Oh, are we putting grandma in this book? Elder Ava. That is grandma. Oh, it's pretty. All characters in this story are fictitious. Any relation to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Everyone was very fond of Georgia. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... She cared for others and liked making fruit punch. I wish I knew how to make fruit punch. I do in theory, but I, uh, I'm afraid of blunders. She was kind, smart, or playful. Mm. Let's make her playful. As playful as her. I wonder how much your choices actually change the game. Because that could be some replayability. I also have no idea how long this game is. Not so. too far away in the land of Astoria. Am I going to be like Navi? Because I see that little sprite then moving around. A young girl named Georgia. She was playful and loved using her wit and imagination. I see she's smart anyway. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Georgia. Oh yeah, I'm Navi. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared George's excitement. We should pick up my gaming marbles on the way back. Gaming they marbles? Are all over the place. Because I. I fought a giant with them. Right, firefly? Sure. What do your gaming dice look like? Are they just marbles? Or. This marble fell from a gaming marbles. Star. I have dice on my mind. Can I knock it down? No, I cannot interact on things by myself. Oh. That's pretty smooth. She not actually this one was the glass having any problem with moving that. I can crawl. Come on, Firefly! The village is just a bit further down. Did we find all of your marbles? Wahoo! I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Georgia. Careful. I do not have the ability to jump currently. Georgia imagined shark fins. Circling below. Georgia buried. She better not bridge Terabithia me in this book. Book. Phew. Book game. We made it, Firefly. And. I want to go up. No. Well, answer is to go now! down. Georgia knew many secret paths back to the village.
like this one. Mm, Georgia, I... She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. I, uh... Keep waiting for this to get, like... Foreboding. Just one more little slide. Here we go! The old cargo net, barely used. Yeah, if I was a kid, I would love this thing. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Georgia couldn't wait to show her Firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftops. Or prank the village builders. Why is the village up? Firefly? Oh, it's a tree village. We're Wookiees. The warm lights and the enticing smells of Elder Ava's heart welcomed her. Elder Ava! Happy birthday, Georgia. Hello, it's me. I'm a firefly, apparently. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. Sacred fireflies. This I'm is a special. Very special thing indeed. See. Does this mean? Yes, it is time. Mm. Would you fetch me that box, please? This one. Ava was sure that Georgia would rise to the occasion. I still can't jump or move, except for. Oh, oh, use words, use your words. We did it. She gave me a book. Go ahead, open it. It's got a spell on it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. That was fast. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Oh, she's my guardian. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Hmm. Is that through here? I, oh, oh, I can't I jump. Forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. You gonna give me your poncho? Or a word? Elsa Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Georgia a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... This is much bigger than that hole. Sapphire! But it let me do it anyway. Now, off you go. Thanks, Gran, I'm over here. I'm so proud of you, Georgia. She can read. I can't wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Georgia was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Oh, well, I have a spell for this. I think. Open book. Grab word. Oh, how'd you do that? And stop. She's got the power. She's, She's got the power. Got the book. Georgia must be the new Firefly Guardian. That was amazing. The best thing I've seen all morning. And then she just drops it. Sorry about that, people. 
Somebody has to pick that back up. Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Oh, your back's aching just looking at it. Oh, they have good onesies. Very stylish. I got a poncho. Georgia loved throwing stones over the rooftops, but not today. Nah, today we're here for the blessing. Look, Georgia has the book. Ah, missed. Today, the ah! Firefly Shrine was waiting. How can they tell by- oh, I'm holding it. I was gonna say, how can they tell by looking at me that I have the book? She looks it's over her literally strapped to me. Village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. Better than ever. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. I'll take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Georgia! Happy birthday! No, I like that accent. That's a good accent. Good to see you, Georgia. But Georgia has one. But that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. That's an argument to have with a kid. If everybody's special, nobody's special. That doesn't mean you About can have everything you want. Beyond. Let me off of this ride. Thank you. Swayed in the warm breeze, its slats creaked with a gentle oh, swaying as Georgia crossed it. Off to start trouble, no doubt. She's one of those toques. Uh, I only know one word, so I guess it's the one I'm gonna use. Do -do -do -do. I can lower something else. Why did we do that? That makes a terrible noise. Okay, we're, we're gonna leave so that it comes back down, maybe. Go away from the noise. Feeling I was supposed to rise myself. Yes, Croy, you are extremely special. Um, rise me. Rise me? No, I can't rise. So jump on it first and then rise it up. Put this down here. Yeah. Oh. This is a much better noise. <laughs> the noise I was doing. There we go. Thank you. Haven't seen that book for a while, Georgia. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the key. I could have gotten it with my book, but thank you. I'm gonna have to get it with my book. Blast. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I have one skill. Whoa. Georgia couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they'd bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? I hope it's adventurous. I am so glad that this game has voice acting in it. I am... Let's very, very thrilled. Adventure. Would you swing already? She's moving her legs, but they're not very swingy. I guess we're getting there. The problem is my controller wants to switch up and down. I didn't even huh. need to swing. I could have just jumped the whole time. Oh, I thought I was going up. I'm not I'm going in. Georgia crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. Stygian. It's a Stygian tunnel. I should get that word. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. Hmm. 
Much better. Okay, we use words. The rocky cliff flips pose no challenge to her now. Didn't mean to raise that one. The sacred bell to announce her arrival. Oh. Ding dong bing bong. Oh, so it is going to make me swing this time. Enough of that. At last, the tree was in sight. Home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. That right there is a tree hole. Grandma beat us. Go on. She knows the word teleport. Do. That's it. They're accepting their new guardian. I oh, am getting a phone call. Be right another. back. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy. The birth stars. And forged suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. And so Georgia became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal. This time of the year. That was my husband calling. He's still on his walk, but he just finished talking to a coworker that has cancer, and uh, he's a little down. So I will cheer him up um, when he gets home. It gets dark so early. Like the day is just an accident, and the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. Actually, the tone of this game works really well for that conversation. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. Give me this word, I want this word. Oh, we can make the fireflies glow. We have fireflies where I live, and I enjoy them, as long as they don't land on me. They're very pretty. Even far. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach. And I look would up love to see that someday. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, This game has just the best art. <laughs> they glowed beneath our toes. Grant said it was called bioluminescence. That is a magical word. I want that one. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. Mm. There we go. I knew it was just little creatures, but it felt like magic. Books feel like magic. I got up very early the next morning I sneaked into the kitchen, got a jam jar, and went down to the shore. 
to it's where I'd seen the plankton. It's the same controls as in the quote unquote real world. Well, oh, I can walk on the beach. Can I grab this? No. Okay, we'll loop around. Gran was still asleep. That evening, I was so excited. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. Oh, yeah, I hope you don't expect it to do much of anything for a long time. Those things are alive. And waited for the night. But it didn't glow. Yeah. I was devastated. Sorry, little girl. I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says... You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Gran is freaking awesome. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. So, sand goes down sand. on the bottom, and then pebbles? Pebbles. Oh, uh, it's gonna put it where it belongs stones. anyway. Corals. A house. Lights. Water. Company. for Gran's photo album. For our future selves to remember. Can I move it while I'm on it? Oh, not really. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Gran. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. My own bit of bacteria. Izzy. That creeped me out. Uh, that I think this mom. is bad news time. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling. In my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. Whoa. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. So, Georgia woke from a hazy, distant dream. I think we're gonna stop there. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. We'll pick this up probably tomorrow morning. What's that noise? Let's see 
how I... Do I just exit? Did it automatically say? Eldereva? Yeah. This is gonna get emotional, I have a feeling. But we'll pick it up tomorrow. It'll be great. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah. We're gonna be done for, for right now, but like I said, I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. I hope you have a good stream, Croy. Um, but I'll see everybody else tomorrow. Bye, everybody.